In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I created this colour and book cover in Kittle. Now, before we get into today's video, I do want to recommend another video which you should go and watch, and that's this one just here, How to Use Kittle for Beginners. This video will give you a little walkthrough so you can see what Kittle looks like. Now, on another side note, we're currently having a huge two-week-long sale on the LCB Vault. The LCB Vault is our course all about low-content book publishing, and you can currently get it for $29.99. Now this sale will end on Friday the 2nd of June at 9pm GMT. If this is something that you're interested in then there will be a link down in the description below. So Kittle, what actually is it? Well it's very similar to Canva but it has a feature or a few features that you can't really do within Canva. And that's why I love this software. I'm actually using it in combination with Canva to create my covers and my books. Now I've got this example here, which I put together just so I can share with you and show you the main feature on why I love using Kittle. Now, just like Canva, you can actually upload your own fonts. So if we click on one of these fonts, then we go to the fonts just here, we have that option just here, up here in the right-hand corner. Now, first of all, why do I like that? Well, that's similar to Canva, and that means I can grab my own fonts from here on Creative Fabrica. Let's just grab one so I can show you. Let's take this one. So now, because I have a subscription with Creative Fabrica, I can come in and download any fonts that I want and then use them in my designs. So just like Canva, you can also upload your own fonts. So now let's just open that and let's go back over to Kittle. Then if we click on this up here in the right hand corner, we can then click on the font which we just downloaded. We can open we can change the name just here. We're going to keep that the same. Upload to library, and then I can use that in my designs. So we can upload our own fonts and then use all of the different effects which Kittle actually has. And the effects that I really like are these ones down here. What these do is allow you to shape and mold your fonts specifically how you want them which we can't actually do within Canva. So I like creating covers and coloring pages here in Kittle and then moving them over to Canva to actually create the whole book. Now let's go through some of these so you can see how I got these effects and everything for this design. Now if you're also wondering, this back image just here, which I have on the back cover and on the front, I actually created that within Midjourney. Now let's go on this one down here. To get this effect round the outside is pretty simple. Once you have your text up, well first of all to get a text up you just go to text just here, you can click headline and then you're going to get the text, then you can use the fonts which you just uploaded as well or all of the premium fonts that Kittle also has. Now let's get rid of that like so. Let's just close that down and now let's go back onto here. We have all these effects just here, but we also have other effects right here on the right hand side up the top. You have all of these shading options for drop shadows and you have all these decorations as well. So if we click on one of these, this is for the outline just here, which I did with this. So right here we can see we can make that thicker or thinner. So let's just make that a little, little bit thicker. Now if we click on these, we can check out all the other drop shadows that they have. Canva does actually have drop shadows as well. But if we go back on this one, right here you can play with the offset. You can also play with the angle, but then the outline width. 
So let's just go back one, like so. With the outline width, we can make that as thick as we want. Now, that's not the features that I like. I actually like all of these features. Let's go back to the settings just here. So let's go and click on one of these. I can edit the transformation just here. But this is where we have all these different effects. So if we click on custom, with this one, we can click on these little white dots, move them around, so we can actually mold the fonts to however we want. Again, this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love Kittle, because we can't do anything like this within Canva. Now let's go back to that one just there. This is currently on distort. We'll go over that in a second. But then there's circle. There's also angle, which is pretty cool as well. Arch. Now with most of these, if we click on that angle again, we can play with the curve angle just there. If we click on arch, we can play around with the arch. We can also click on the white dots and move it around. Then there's also rise with again, where we can play with the curve. They also have wave and also flag. So again, this is really amazing for creating covers for KDP, especially ones like this for coloring book covers, but also coloring pages as well. Now let's go back a few more. Let's just go back to the original, which is just there. This is on distort. Now I've already done that, but right up here, when you use one of these just here, one of these effects, you can click on edit your transformation and then you can play around with it. So I could make that bigger, like so. I could make this go in just there. There's lots of cool things that you can do to help you create better designs. Now again, let's go back. But that's one of the main reasons why I love Kittle because you can just make much better designs. So they're all like the transformations, I call them more of effects, which they currently have. But if we go over to the proper effects just here, they also have all of these decorations. So you see how the bottom half of this word is purple, and then it's got lines going through. This is just one of the effects just here. It's this one right here, which is called Fading Color Cut. Now you can play with the weight of it, like so as well, and you can play around with the distance. So let's just put that back to there. But we can also play around with the color. So the font color is actually purple, as we can see just there, and the effect color is white, which is this part just here. So if we click on white, we can change that, and then you can mix and match the colors that look good together. Top tip, you always want to take your colors from your covers to keep everything congruent. Now let's go off of there, let's take that back as well, and have it like that. Now if I didn't like this effect or transformation, I can just click on there, it's going to take that off, I can go on to the settings and then like play around with the colors or take the distort off as well and it's going to put it back to the original. I quite like that because it's molded into this part of the design just here and again this is just something that you can't do within Canva. Now if we click on this top font just here, I can edit the transform again by clicking on there and then I can play around with it. That moved it too much. But if I click on the dots, I can then play around with that as well. Now let's go back to that one. If we go on to effects, this is actually under block shadow and the angle is pretty strong. So you might not want that angle there. You might want it over there instead like that. So then I could move that forward and I could change the offset so it's not quite so strong. There's a lot of features that you can play around with just to help you make much better designs. Now let's put that back to the original like so. Now, if you haven't already, then I do suggest just coming through, signing up for a free account and playing around with it so you can get a feel for it and see if it's something that you like. Again, they have all these different decorations that you can play around with, like so. Let's take them off. And then they also have all of these different drop shadows as well. So everything combined, you can actually create some really nice designs for your covers and your coloring pages here in Kittle. Now let's just put that back to the original like so.
Now, there's a couple more things which I quickly want to cover, and all about fonts. So I've got a couple of pages up just here, which we're quickly going to run through. So with this one, you can use premium fonts for free in Kittle. So you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on fonts for your designs. In Kittle, you can use hundreds of premium for free to create stunning designs. Now I'm quickly going to run through this as well. You have fun, stylish and stunning fonts. You can use pre-made text layouts when you're out of ideas. So this just means they have lots of different templates of different font combinations that work really well together. You also get access to thousands of templates for your designs as well. So you can click on templates and quickly modify them. And you can add a premium font in three easy steps. Now they also have a video just here, which I also recommend watching, because it's all about font pairing. Now with the transformations, you can use transformation text effects with ease in Kittle, just like I just showed you. So you can add waves to your text, you can leverage multiple transformational options or transformation options, which I showed you as well. This is by far one of the best features that Kittle has, because it can really make your designs a hell of a lot better. And you get access to a variety of pre-made templates again. And it's just a really great feature. Again, I wish Canva would actually go ahead and add something like this. Now this is the last page which we're quickly going to go through. You can craft your words with the Kittle Text Effect Maker. So if we look just here, you can use shadows, text effects, you can decorate your text, you can combine changes for the ultimate text effect as well, and just so much cool stuff. With Kittle, it's really going to take your designs to the next level because there's so much that you can do and that you can't do with Canva. So again, if you do want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description below. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. And to check out the rest of my Kittle videos, click right here and watch this playlist.